covering weapon systems across air, land, and sea. Welcome to Millpower Minis. The U.S. Navy's Ticonderoga-class Aegis Guided Missile Cruisers, a vital component of America's naval fleet and some of the most capable surface vessels sailing today. A multi-mission capable platform, this class of warship can strike in all domains, from underwater to near-Earth orbit. These ships are equipped with a wide range of advanced sensors and weapon systems, making them highly flexible. One of the Tyco's most iconic features is its Aegis Combat System, a state-of-the-art digital command structure that fuses sensor data, weapon guidance, and target tracking. At the center of the structure, the ANSPY-1, a long-range, passive, electronically scanned radar that utilizes four arrays to provide a 360-degree coverage out to a range of 230 miles. The Aegis system utilizes this powerful radar to detect and track incoming airborne and naval threats, while utilizing the various onboard weapon systems to destroy them. These capabilities allow Ticonderoga cruisers to perform a truly incredible mission, anti-ballistic missile defense, and anti-satellite operations. Combining the SPY-1, the Aegis system's tracking and fire solution capabilities, and the RIM-161 Standard Missile 3 or SM-3 Long Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, Tyco cruisers can perform mid-course intercepts of ballistic missiles. The newest generation missile, the RIM-174 SM-6, features extended range and has the same active homing radar as the AIM-120C Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missile or AMRAM, allowing for more accuracy and flexibility. Along with these missiles, the vessels carry a wide variety of armament to meet their mission requirements. Need to strike a target hundreds of miles inland? The BGM-109 Tomahawk cruise missile can reach out to a range of over 800 miles and strike with a 1,000-pound high-explosive warhead. Maybe there are enemy vessels beyond the horizon threatening the carrier strike group. The ship's eight RGM-84 Harpoon anti-ship missiles could sink any vessel within 75 miles. Inbound aircraft or cruise missiles that may evade the SM-3 or SM-6 would face the Phalanx Close-In Weapon System or SeaWiz spitting tungsten armor-piercing 20mm rounds at 4500 rounds per minute out to 3.4 miles. For anti-submarine combat, the RUM-139 Vertical Launch Anti-Submarine Rocket or VLSROC launches a Mark 46 torpedo up to 12 miles away while the Mark 32 surface vessel torpedo tubes can engage closer submerged threats. The cruisers also pack a pair of Mark 45 guns, one fore and one aft, which can fire 20 rounds per minute and can be used against ships, targets ashore, and even hostile aircraft. In addition to its weapon systems, this class of cruisers are also equipped with helicopter landing pads, allowing the use of SH-60 Seahawk helicopters for anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, and search and rescue missions. Equipped with advanced communication systems and a sophisticated sensor suite, these vessels can operate as command and control centers for naval operations and conduct electronic warfare, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. Able to strike anywhere, land, air, sea, or even space, all is within range of the Tyco.